Hey everybody, welcome back. Just to start off, the gun is clear. There you can see there. Nothing here. It's just a little dirty. So this is just a quick uh, six month follow up on the TLR6. Little light here for the uh, Glock, my Glock 48 and the same holster. I carry this a lot. It's like my go-to carry gun. And the magazine I carry with it is a flush mount S15 mag and this is one of their uh plus fives so a lot of people were saying that the uh you have to replace the oem mag catch with one of the shield or one of the aluminum metal ones due to the magazine being metal it will eat it up and you'll have issues maintaining it but mine was between these three mags have well over 500 of these just you no know, no insert magazine, jet magazine, all that stuff. So as you can see, the mag's empty. Yeah, it's pretty easy to see. So anyway, so everything works fine. So what I'm gonna do here is y'all gonna see me actually break it down. I haven't broken this down to check yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it down. As y'all can see, it's empty. All right, let's slide go. So you're gonna see me break down. I'm gonna take out the um, the mag release. I think some people they just do it just to do it or whatever because they're gonna they want to extend the one. This one is fine with me because my thumb reaches it pretty good without actually having to you know adjust my grip. So like there's my there's literally my grip, and then the mag falls out. Anyway, so I'm gonna take it out, um, and I'm going to do some video. Uh, some close-up pictures of it. Of what the what it looks like. All right, so so this is it right here. So I am going. It's kind of hard to focus with the GoPro. Anyway, because the GoPro is not really a macro, but this is the side here where the mag catches on on the top part that keeps it from coming out and then there's the bottom part i don't know if you ever see that try to give you all like a little actual picture video of it but it's kind of hard to do because of the gopro does it focus no let's see I don't know if y'all can see that, if it's actually focusing. Anyway, so I am going to take pictures of this. And you, you can be able to sit here. Like I said, it is, there's no issues with it. Mine have been, you know, shot a lot. Before I started carrying these S15 mags, I put 500 between the three of them just to make sure everything works good. So actually my carry is one of the flush mags and my backup mag because you know, they stick out like that and that's a little hard to carry, conceal for the most part. but. With it getting colder out, I'll be able to start wearing a jacket, so it'll be a lot easier to hide. I may even go to start carrying my um, one of my 17s or whatever, 21, 20, whatever. So other than that, everything's still running good on the 48. I mean, there's so much, it's, uh, there's a lot of lint on there, to my, just from being you know, inside the waist belt and stuff. On that, so yeah, so that is it. I am going to do some pictures of this and put them at the end of the video. Y'all tell me what you think. But like I said, I have not replaced it, and it's had over 500 
of the dealios you know insert the mag drop the mag because i don't go to the i don't go to the range with the full mags i'll go i put like two or three or sometimes my kids are out of the range with me i'll have them do it that unknown number of mags so i'm shooting and i have to reload shoot and reload shoot and reload shoot and, or shoot mag change shoot mag change shoot mag change so 23 of the s15 mags they've been great no issues at all um i do carry the flush mount which is the 15 rounder and then this is the plus five which i have two of these so one stays in my truck and the other is on me on the, my weak side which is my left side so other than that it works out great so this is pretty much you know how it goes in there so in the mag so it goes in it slides up pushes the this piece the mag catch mag release over slides up locks into place and then that's where it catches right there so there is a little bit of play in there but like i said i don't have any issues with it at all so other than that i'm happy with it have no failures or anything i don't have any magnets to fall out or whatever so other than that um that's pretty much my video like i said light works great still the same batteries and everything can't remember how many lumens it is like 300 lumens or something so but overall it works great so thanks for stopping by thanks for watching um stay strong and uh, god bless america <laughs>